Amazon is investing heavily into building their robotics empire. From building a new $40 million robotics lab that is set to open in 2021, to having aerospace engineers working in their robotics division. This video takes a look at Amazon's growing robotics empire. We will look at the different types of robots that are working in the fulfillment centers and how artificial intelligence is being used to predict what you buy before you even buy it. We will also look at the tech Amazon is building to make their human workers work more like the robots, such as a wristband that tells humans where to move their hands. And what does the future hold for robotics at Amazon? Could people be working from home, controlling robots that work in the warehouses, something that is being worked on in Japan? At Amazon's fulfillment centers, like the one on Staten Island, robots transport items to humans who then pick and pack them to be delivered. This robot alliance raises a human's productivity from 100 items packed per hour to around 300 to 400 items an hour. The director of Amazon Robotics Fulfillment says that Amazon is at least 10 years away from robots fully automating the process of a single order. Amazon started using robots in their fulfillment centers in 2012, and by 2018, they had around 100,000 robots working for them. Then, from 2018 to 2020, Amazon doubled that number to 200,000 robots. And there are 250,000 humans working in the Amazon fulfillment centers globally. The humans work alongside the robots in what Amazon Robotics chief technologist calls a symphony of humans and machines working together. With an empire of robots working for them, Amazon is working hard behind the scenes to keep the robotic fleet running smoothly and keep the fleet growing in numbers. One person tasked in managing all of this is the chief technologist at Amazon Robotics, Ty Brady. He holds a degree in aerospace engineering and a master's degree in aeronautics engineering from MIT. He worked as a spacecraft engineer at MIT and then as a consultant at Spacecraft Solutions before working at Amazon Robotics. The Amazon Robotics headquarters is located just outside of Boston. They also have a robotics development center further out from Boston. And over in Germany, Amazon has another robotics development center. The main workhorses that Amazon has invested into are the drive units. These are the flat robots that drive around the warehouses. These alone make up 200,000 of Amazon's robots. The main task for these robots is to pick up shelves of products and move them to the human pickers. These transport robots navigate the warehouses by following a series of computerized bar barcode stickers on the floor. A sensor prevents each robot from colliding with other robots or with humans. There is the Kiva, which is the original version that Amazon first used. They could carry 450 kilograms or 1,000 pounds and had a speed of 3 miles per hour. The Hercules robot was Kiva's bigger brother and is used to carry heavier pallets. It can carry 1,360 kilograms or 3,000 pounds, about three times the amount. The Pegasus is the updated version of the Kiva. It is 10 centimeters or 4 inches shorter. It can lift 110 kilograms or 242 pounds more than the Kiva and is much cheaper to manufacture as it requires half of the parts. Another benefit of the Pegasus is that it can be transformed. It can have a half a meter or 1.6 feet conveyor belt connected on top. Then the Pegasus can transport packages to a chute and slide them down where the packages then go onto a conveyor belt. Amazon says that investing in developing the conveyor belt attachment for the Pegasus has halved missorting errors as the robot rarely puts a parcel in the wrong chute. Finally, in June of 2019, Amazon announced the Xanthus drive unit. They said that the new robot is much thinner with a third of the parts to build, while being easier to maintain. It can also be fitted with different attachments, creating different roles for the robots. And the Xanthus can also detect the robotic vests worn by the human workers, which we will go over later in the video. These drive unit robots are the busy bees moving packages around the fulfillment centers so that they can be shipped off as fast as possible.